Yo, what's going on everyone? We're back. I'm here bringing out another NBA 2K22 video. And in today's video, it is a little bit different, man. Um, CJ McCollum did just get traded to New Orleans and we're about to do a reboot on CJ McCollum going to New Orleans. So if you're new to the channel, guys, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And let's hop into this video, man. So CJ McCollum going to New Orleans is pretty good to try to keep Zion Williamson around. I know he's the one out of New Orleans, which you really can't. And I kind of did the NBA Today thing where you, there's a kind of way to do it. So the Pelicans are 11th in the conference right now. As of this was January, the last, the latest I could go was February 4th. So we'll look at the standings real quick and see uh, how far they are behind. But um, we did get CJ McCollum for the team. I will show the trade here in a minute. And I want to know what y'all's take is on that NBA trade for CJ McCollum. Y'all think they overpaid? Y'all think it was a fair trade? Just let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about the trade. So right now the Suns are in first, like in real life. And all the way down here is the Pelicans. They are 20 and 32. I believe they did pass my Spurs up. Uh couple days ago but we'll see how it goes man so we are they did the trade was i didn't really know the draft pick kind of stuff yet but i heard it was a first round pick two seconds josh hart nicole alexander walker for tom and thomas Sinaransky for cj mccullum larry nets jr and tony snell so let me know what y'all's take is on that trade man i think it's kind of a um it's kind of a good trade for both teams i guess i mean josh hart and cj are both scorers and stuff but i think cj cj is definitely the better player and I don't really, I never really seen Nicole Alexander Walker play, Nikel. But some Pelicans fans let me know how he did. And uh, let's hop. So the one thing that kind of sucks about this rebuild is doing NBA today is I can't do Trey Finder. So we're going to roll with how the team is right now. And um, it's going to be Devontae Graham, CJ McCullum, Brandon Ingram, Larry Nets, and Valentinus with Jackson Hayes, who's coming on as a late, Billy Hernan Gomez, uh, Herbert Jones. There's three centers off the bench. That's kind of bad. Um, Zion is hurt, which is realistic because he is hurt, but three big men off the bench just isn't going to cut it. So, um, I'm pretty sure they're going to trade one of these dudes like Hernan Gomez or something, but we're just going to sim out the season see how they do with CJ McCollum. And then after that, we will, we will build around CJ, Brandon, and Zion the way I want to. So we finished the uh, first season and we got uh, six in the conference. So CJ McCollum actually helped us, uh, make the, uh, playoffs and an even better seed. I believe we did pass the Lakers up, but we'll check here in a minute. DeJounte Murray, all NBA 13, man. That's so good to see, man. Like, that's really good to see. He's getting some recognition. He did make the All-Star game as well. And uh, let's see, man. So, um, we are the sixth seed, uh, New Orleans. So, we do play the Suns in the first round, which they kind of dipped to the third seed, which kind of does suck. But we did make the playoffs, man, which is really, really good. And if we look at player stats, B.I. had 20 points almost, four rebounds, five, five rebounds, four assists. Jonas Valanciunas had 19 and 11 and 3. CJ had 18, 2 and 3. And then Devontae Graham and Jackson Hayes both average double digit points for us. And then, honestly, if they could have kept like, uh, what's his name? If they could have kept um, Lonzo Ball, that would have been a good for them too. But I could see, I don't really know why they let him walk, but I don't know, man. So let's simulate the playoffs. We'll probably get bounced in the first by the uh, Suns. Ooh, the Pelicans actually, we actually beat... We actually beat the Suns. That's interesting. CJ had CJ had 18. Valanciunas had 27 and 4. Ingram did 15 and 7. Shot terrible from the field though. I ain't even gonna lie. That's terrible. We are up 3-0 on the Lakers as well. The Lakers did end up beating the Grizzlies. So maybe we won the finals. Maybe we make the finals in the first season with CJ McCollum. Simulate the round with uh, the Mavericks. We made it to the finals in the first season. That is crazy, man. I did not expect to make the finals in the first season. And, uh, can we win it all, man? Like, sadly, we couldn't win it all, but making the playoff, making the finals in the first season with CJ McCollum is something rare, man. That's, like, that's really good. Are they going to, they didn't have Zion Williamson and they made the finals. That's, like, how good this team has potential to be. Um, uh, where was I going to go? Option settings, general, like, everything was on 50. Simulator difficulty, 50. Everything's at 50, so it's not like I turned up the simulator difficulty or anything, but... Let's head to player, player retirements. Um, Udonis Haslam, Trevor Reza, Robin Lopez, Goran Dragic, Wesley Matthews, Jared Dudley. A lot of a lot of former NBA players. Former, a lot of old NBA players. Um, so let's head to the NBA draft. We do have our first round pick. It just sucks that Trey Finder's not open. So I probably won't be doing NBA today much if the Trey Finder's not really open that much because that means I got to make my own trades. So, um, can I... Let's head to the NBA draft to see if we could trade. 
yeah it's still closed so if i throw in the 18th pick and like i want to keep everyone here maybe Devonte graham for a better point guard a somewhat maybe like a better scoring point guard i mean he does fit because he could play off the ball so larry nance is here jackson hayes like i don't really want to get rid of any of these guys um yeah, we'll just pick who's ever there at 18. So we'll sim to the pick. I just hit sim to the end. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Who do we get? Um, We got Dyson Daniel, 75 overall. That's not bad. Uh, that's probably who I would have gone with. Maybe he was the best player. Nope. I probably would have gone with this guy. I've, I've heard a lot about him. But rookie signings, we do sign Daniels. Team player options, no one. Qualifying offers, no one. Free agency, uh, I don't think we got to bring back anyone yet this year. Um, Yeah, we don't have to bring back anyone, which is good for us. We still get CJ, Larry Nance. Like, it was Tony Snell, but I don't want Tony Snell back. So the team is pretty much up to par with how they should. I don't even think we have cap space to go and get anyone. We could get, like bring eric bledsoe back no thank you i despise eric bledsoe him and reggie jackson just so much man um chris boucher would not be bad actually pj tucker i do like pj tucker um i know he's going to decline which kind of sucks but he is really good he's a good three-point shooter i know chris boucher will stay up so we'll go with chris boucher and if he if he doesn't go down we will uh, keep him like, uh, we'll train for P.J. Tucker. P.J. Tucker didn't dip because I know P.J. Tucker goes down, sadly. So, let's see who went up and who went down, man. So, Zion is a 92. C.J. went down three overalls already. That's really bad for 2K purposes. Um, everyone else did the same or went up. So, let's go to um, let's go to the next season. We're going to see if we can go back to the NBA Finals in Season 2 because Season 3, C.J. McCollum is definitely going to dip again. Auto, uh, let's do, we'll load the draft class just in case we got to go one more season. User created draft class, 2020, ah, oh, I did the wrong one. Um, all right, so I got to go change the draft class, scouting, prospect board. Oh. Lower back already, I already fixed it, you just had to hit it. You just have to hit literally A and you can load the draft class. So we loaded the 2023 draft class. And um I don't know, man. I really wish Trey Finder was open, but it's not. Just need to unlock Trey Finders in the first insight when I do this. So I guess this person never whoever did the NBA today never um unlocked the Trey Finder thing. So if I propose a trade of a first round pick from the Lakers. And maybe a Devontae Graham. Um, can I get like a Ben Simmons? Like, is there any possible way? I just want to throw everything at Ben Simmons. Like, I feel like if I could get Ben Simmons, it, it's over. And if not, I might have to go with Dejounte. One, two, three, four, five first round picks, and they say no. Like that was definitely. That was definitely just an overpay of the century. I ain't even gonna lie to you, especially for an 85 overall. But having Ben Simmons to facilitate to facilitate for this team with CJ as a shooter, Brandon Ingram as another shooter, Zion who can do a little bit of everything, and then Valanciunas who can spread the floor too. I really like the way this team is. I did just throw away the future there for a bit, but um, I really think this team can go on and win the NBA Finals, man. We'll give CJ 30. We'll give Ben. I want to give Ben Simmons way more minutes um we have so many centers here yet again these are all big men coming off the bench what the hell man um hernan gomez calusis minutes for daniels um i want to give 15 like ah uh, all right seven minutes to spare we'll give valentina's 31 zion 32 bi needs 30 as well man like it's just there's everyone's just going to have 30 minutes i guess Ben Simmons could get 32. But uh, let me know what y'all think, man. I know I did just overpay for Ben Simmons. I gave him five first-round picks. That's really way too much for Ben Simmons. But 
I really think this will work in the future. Um, I am going to probably stop doing MAT if I can't use straight finder because that does suck. But let's see how we do in season number two, man. So we made it into the second season. And we got the first year with Ben Simmons at helm at point guard, which I know um, he is. Uh, he can't shoot, but I just feel like they need a facilitator on this team with him. You got TJ. TJ can handle the ball a bit, and that's what you want from your uh, shooting guard is handle the ball a bit, not all the time. So we did get the first seed in New Orleans. Let's see what our record were. I don't even know what our, our record was. And we went 67 and 15. Like that's just really, really good. And I'm and uh we go to uh the player stats. We were led by Zion's 21 points, eight rebounds, four assists, Brandon Ingram's 20, 17, 2 and 4 from McCullum, 16, 7, and 9 for Ben Simmons and two steals a game. Valentinus had 15 and 10 rebounds because he had a share with Ben Simmons and Zion. So I'm not too mad at it. It's 14 and 8 rebounds, 3 assists. I'm not mad at it. What did he shoot from the 3 point line though? He shot. He didn't shoot no 3s. Really? You're going to tell me this dude's tendencies doesn't make him shoot 3s? He has like an 85 3 point shot. 81 3 point shot and he doesn't shoot 3s. That's crazy man. Zion Williamson, did he even attempt any 3s? Um, no he didn't. So uh, a lot of these teams didn't really even attempt any 3s. But we still got the first seed. So... Let's uh, simulate and see who we play in the playing game. So we're taking on the Utah Jazz. Like, that's a tough matchup, man. That is a tough matchup, but I think we can get past them. And we do end up beating them in four in five games. We were led by the way of Brandon Ingram's 30, 25 and 10 from Zion. Uh, CJ McCollum at 19, 16, 9 and 11. Almost a triple double for Ben Simmons. Alan Tunis. I need him to shoot some threes, man. Like... Like, I wish his tendencies would let him shoot threes, but you can't even change tendencies on 2K. So, simulate round versus the Spurs. Can we get past San Antonio? We do. Now it's one versus two. Zion versus John Morant. And John Morant got the last laugh, man. Um, We do got one more season to try to go win it. So, I'm not too mad. Zach Levine went to the Wizards. Um, I There's really no point. Like, everyone on this team is here. I just traded all our first round picks. So if there was just a way to do Trey Finder, it says I'm at level three somehow, but I don't know how Trey Finder is not open. Nick Marshall, um, I'll just keep all these guys for the sake of it. Qualifying offers, Jackson Hayes and Zion. Yes, we got to bring Zion back. I forgot about that. So Zion is restricted no matter what, so he is coming back. And Jackson Hayes will be uh, coming back as well. Larry Nance, I guess, is good as gone. Um, they're probably just going to accept these one-year deals anyway knowing 2k so let's go to player progression i know cj dipped down even more which kind of sucks but brandon ingram went down one cj went down one which isn't too bad ben simmons went up so everyone went up kind of just need to get a better bench so let's go to next season and it is the last season anyway so we don't have to really import a draft class so auto generate rookies and um can I trade finder yet? Like I'm at level three. I should be able to. I should be able to use trade finder, and I don't know. You need to unlock trade finder, the first skill in inside. I'm gonna try to fix it for the next video. I'm sorry, guys, but we'll just end the season, see how we do in the last and final season, with Ben Simmons, CJ Ingram, Zion, and Jackson Hayes now starting. Oh, we lost Valen Tunis in free agency. Why wasn't he uh restricted? Dang. Ah, oh, that, that really hurts right there. But I feel like Jackson Hayes can still step in and be that starter. I only just watched a video on how to unlock it. So I just unlocked the trade finder. So all in all, um, we could finally move these big men. Like if I move Chris Boucher, Hernan Gomez, and a first round pick, could we just get a center man? Like someone to start or a backup center for Jackson Hayes? Um, not really any starting caliber players, but I could take on Norm Powell's 18 million and Terrence Mann's 8, 10 million. And that could get us like a more valuable big for the money that they have. So let's take that deal with the money. I'm not going to be throwing in the first round pick. Um, That's definitely not happening. So I could take a second, a second, take him out. And then I'll throw y'all another second. And they agreed to it. Cool. So we didn't have to give a first. And now... I mean, Norman Powell is cool and all, but um, Terrence Mann is also cool. But could we trade these two for like a center? Just some type of center making money. Um, Obi Toppin. 
Malik Monk, Clint Capella. Uh, I do like Jackson Hayes though. All right, if I throw y'all this first, can I get us something, man? Chris Milton, Clay Thompson. Here's the trades, man. Here's some type of trades at least. Um, Chris Middleton, not really. It's like we don't need this. We need a center, a center. Um, Mitchell Robinson. Ah. I might as well just keep the guys, right? Like, I might as well just keep these guys. They're not the best, but they do help the bench more. They want to bring Ben Simmons off the bench. What is wrong with them? Um, Jackson Hayes should be getting way more minutes. Um, yeah, man, I guess we'll do that for now. Norm Powell will come off the bench. We do got some guards coming off the bench now, so let's see how we do. We were second in the conference anyway, but let's continue and see how we do. So we made it into the final season, and Joel B got finals MVP. I mean, MVP, not finals MVP. Um, not really much here. All NBA, all defensive first time we do get a Ben Simmons on there. Dejounte Murray made it. No, Zion Williamson made the All NBA third team, and then uh, no one else for us made it. Sadly, but it's all right, man. We did get the first he did again. It was a bit more of a race this year than last year. Uh, 57 wins. Spurs have 53 wins. Dang, the Spurs are actually back to winning with Dejounte, Derek, Lorenzo, Dort, Keldon, Chet Holgram. I hope they get Chet Holgram, man. But um. Let's look at the stats and stuff. So season stats, player stats, we were led by none other than Zion's 24, Ingram's 19, CJ's 15, Ben Simmons 12, 6, and 7. Jackson Hayes did all right at the center position. Not too good, not too bad. But let's see what we can get out of the first round here. Simulate the playoffs. And we do are taking on the Kings who almost beat us, man. And now we're taking on the Grizzlies again who are about to beat us. Um, That's kind of crazy. Um... And we do end up losing the Grizzlies twice in the season, which does kind of suck. And the Spurs go on to win the NBA Finals with Chet Holgram, DeJounte Murray. But let me know what y'all take kids on the Pelicans trade for CJ McCullum. I do think it was a good trade the first year we made the NBA Finals. And the two other years we did get the first seat in the in the West. So let me know what y'all think about this CJ McCullum to the uh, Pelicans trade, man. I think it was a solid trade for them. Not too bad. They did kind of give up. I think they kind of overpaid by throwing a first round pick. But that's what the Blazers won in picks because they're rebuilding. Where y'all think Dame is going to land, man? And I'm out. Peace.